Do you know how a business shows up here? If you get this right, you'll outrank every competitor in your city. And you don't even need a website to do it. These are free Google business profiles. They don't cost anything to make, and Google loves to put them at the top of search results. Profiles also show up in Maps, so people will see your phone number, business hours, and five-star reviews if they're searching in your area. All that means is whether you're starting your own business or you're helping a client rank in Google, setting up a Google business profile is the very first thing you should do. It only took Kent Berry from KB's Appliance Repair a few minutes to make his. And in a couple months, he was ranking at the top of the page for his keyword phrases. That was in 2024, and it's been bringing him clients ever since. Today, I'll show you how to set up a Google business profile the right way. And I'll share the one thing Kent did that got him that spot. I'll also point out several common errors you'll want to avoid so Google doesn't block your profile completely. Go to google.com slash business and click on Okay, that sound actually means there's two very common mistakes people make before they even begin. Number one, if you've got multiple Google accounts, make sure you're on the right one. People often create duplicate business profiles by accident, which is against Google's policy and it will get you blocked. Second, if your business has been up and running for a while, there could be an unclaimed profile floating around. Do a quick search in Google Maps for your business name and city. If you see your business, click to claim it instead of creating a duplicate. All right, let's keep going. Click on Start Now and Google will begin asking a series of questions about your business, starting with your business name. You might see a variation like this screen, but you're still in the right place. Either way, type your answers. I'll make up a cleaning company and then click Continue. Next up, Google will usually ask to know your business type. Your business might fit more than one of these, so you can choose multiple options if that's the case. For example, if you're a pet groomer who also sells pet supplies online, then you'd choose online retail and service business. But usually you'll just pick one. I'm going to choose service business for my house cleaning company. Next, you'll need to choose a business category. Just type in what you do and then choose the industry that matches your business the best. But if you see two options that both feel correct, go to Google Maps and type each one in to see what kind of businesses show up. In my case, cleaners is dry cleaning, so it's not my type of business at all. House cleaning service is the correct industry, so I'll choose that one. Moving on, Google will ask for your service area. Or if you have a physical location, they'll want to know your specific address. Since I'm a mobile house cleaning business, they just want to know which cities or regions I'm willing to serve. You probably know your area and the cities you're willing to drive to, but if you're helping out a client, you can also ask ChatGPT. Here's a prompt that works well to ask it to list the 20 nearest locations with the largest populations within a couple hours drive. Google limits you to 20 locations and of course you need to keep them nearby. Anything more than two hours away can get you blocked. Next, add your phone number, that's required, and your website, which is optional. No worries if you don't have a website yet, I'll go over building a website in a later video. On the next screen, just accept the terms to say that yes, you're okay with your business being on Google Maps. You can also click these boxes if you want to receive Google's newsletter or surveys. And yeah, it might be worth it just to know if there are any big changes that Google is making. After this, Google will ask for your address. They do this to cut down on spam businesses, and as you can see, entering your address here does not make it public. Once you've filled out your address, Google will offer a few different methods for verifying your identity. You might see a phone number option, or a video option, or even a postcard option that they'll send to your address. You can verify now or later, but you must do it before your profile is live. Phone number verification is simple. Just receive the text and reply with the code. Video verification can be a little tougher. If you're a service business, Google might require it because they just want to make sure you're actually in the area you say you're in. You can make your verification video on your phone and it does not need to be professional. The method that's worked well for my clients is to start at the nearest cross street to your address and record those street signs with your phone. Then keeping your video going, walk towards your address and show yourself unlocking the door to prove you live there. If you also have a work van or a work truck, then you can definitely pass that on your way in and unlock the vehicle as well. Show your tools and any signage or branding, even just a business card on the seat will work, and then finish at your address. Again, not everyone will need to upload a video, but if you do, following those steps will get you verified the quickest. Next, and this is one of the most important parts of the whole process, Google is going to ask you to add your services. These are keyword phrases that people are searching for in Google that relate to your business. So if you want to show up, then click on any that apply. You can also add custom services. So if yours aren't listed, just type in whatever you offer, like 
hourly cleaning or post-construction cleaning. Okay, now that you've finished that section, click next and let's move on to business hours. You can set each day individually. You can also put specific hours like eight to five, or you can select 24 hours. I've definitely seen some advantages for clients who put 24 hours, but just make sure that you're actually able to do the work and answer calls at any time of day or night. Once you've added hours, Google will ask you for a business description. It's a good idea to list some of the things that make you unique. So if you've got experience in your industry, like you've been cleaning for five plus years, include that. If you use eco-friendly products, put that in. And if you're not sure how to write this paragraph or if you're writing for a client, just go to ChatGPT and use this as your prompt. Write me a business description in less than 750 characters. Make it compelling and authentic like a real business owner wrote it. End with a call to action. Use straightforward sentences. I've been a cleaner for five years, I'm licensed and insured, and I use eco-friendly products. Also list some services that I offer. You'll get a really helpful sounding description and you can adjust the services as needed. Next, Google is going to prompt you to add photos. And I realize that if your business is brand new, you might not have any photos to add. If not, you can skip it for now, but you do need to add photos soon. If you're a house cleaner or a car detailer or something that you can do for yourself in your own home, then by all means, clean your own kitchen, bedrooms, etc., and take the photos when you're done. Without photos, Google will most likely not promote your business, so make sure you don't leave this empty for long. Lastly, Google's going to offer you free ad credits, which actually requires you to spend 500 to get another 500, and you can definitely do that if you want, but I generally don't recommend it if you're brand new. As I've mentioned, there are free ways to rank, and you may not need to spend money on ads at all. Google's also going to offer domains, and a bunch of other stuff, and I'd skip those for now too. Now, once your verification process has finished, just click continue to see your Google profile live. If you're not verified yet, it'll tell you that it's pending, but either way, this will be your dashboard for your profile. You can reply to reviews, edit your profile, and make changes to your service area, hours, and descriptions at any time. You can also get back to this dashboard by going to google.com business and clicking on sign in. So what can you expect once you've set up your profile and it's verified? Well, I can guarantee you will show up in Maps, but if you want to get to the top of the list and stay there, you've got to do what Camp Berry does. Number one, ask every customer if they'll give you feedback even before you do the job. Number two, when the job is finished, tell them in person that you'll be sending them a text soon for feedback. Number three, as soon as you leave, text them a direct link to your Google review page. You can get that link right here from your Google profile dashboard. And number four, if they don't review you, follow up with a discount code for their next service, thank them for their business, and again, ask for feedback or the chance to make it right if something is wrong. This method works because people are naturally susceptible to social pressure. By agreeing in person to give you feedback, they're about 50% more likely to actually follow through when you send a text later. I go into a lot more detail about this in my next video, including a script you can use and some additional tips to get more five-star reviews, so make sure to check that video out. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe or hit that like button to let me know. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.